What's up, Brother Gary? Let me post some stuff up real quick. How you been doing? All right, I got my shirt off. So I can make sure everybody see what's going on with me. Uh, peace, uh, Brother Kwame. I'm putting up the Nguza Saba Challenge. For those that signed up for the challenge, you get a deep discount for um, that ambrosia. Um, also, you can um, go to just um, Gumroad. dot com oh here we here, here, here go I'm trying to correct my spelling y'all know you gotta dot com forward slash our Tim see everything that we offer all right because we about to have a we about to have a, a, a deep discussion oh man dude I lost about 15 to 20 pounds I look like I look like we look when we got off those um, um, those captive ships. I look like a prisoner of war. My legs, my legs is just ridiculously skinny. My chest is just ridiculously skinny. Um, I got my grub on last night. I had to, you know, I had to take it easy. Coming off for of 21 days and three days without. First off, first off, I need to prove some stuff wrong. First, first things first, right, family. You can live a long time without eating, because we did it before. We did it on the slave ships. And you can live a lot longer than three days without drinking, because we did it before. And I want want everybody to see is how we look when we got off of the slave ships. Right? Because I want I I I want to hit you with the stark reality that the way my body is thinned out and shit right now. Is the way our economic system is. The way my body has eaten up all the fat and maybe in some cases started dining on some muscle is how our economic system is. Is how our political system is. Is how our educational system is. It's the state of our culture. Right? A lot of us don't want to deal with that. A lot of us don't want to face the reality. So we put nice clothes up over the skeleton of who we are as a people. We try to hide the fact that in many ways we have failed our children. We have failed ourselves, right? But you know, I'm, I'm here to show you that it's possible for us to move beyond this because I'm, I'm going to have my shirt off during these presentations so that you can see, right? You can watch me start building back up, right? So now I did the first part of 21 day challenge, right? Boom, control my appetite. Now, everybody don't have to come in fasting, right? You can do intermittent fasting. You can do intermittent fasting every other day. But in some form of fashion, you got to control your appetite. Now, the next 21 days, I'm moving in on my habits. What habits do I want to form? What habits do I want to get rid of, right? Because if I want to change the world, I first must work on changing me. If you want to change the world, you first have to work on changing you, right? That's what it's all about. Now, I, I was looking for it last night, but I, it was too late. I couldn't, I couldn't find it. There is a proverb or a saying that I read years ago in the Dao Te Ching where they talk about destroying something. When you want to build something up, you destroy it at the root and break it down right and then it reassembles itself stronger than it's ever been before but if you want to tear something down you build it up so that it artificially will fall because the foundation may not be deep enough for it to rise up to the level that it wants to rise i had to take my body and i had to break it down this is the first time in my life that my body has been totally mine i get to decide what goes in it when i came out my mom's womb I couldn't decide that. When I was up under other, everybody else's influence, I couldn't decide that. But today is the first day that I get to really start truly deciding what goes in my body because the last previous 21 days, I done, I done rang it out. I done destroyed it. Now I'm going to build it back up and y'all going to watch it come back. 
right? You're going to watch it come back. And in the same way that you can watch this coming back, you can watch pounds melt off of you. You can watch habits melt off of you. In the same way that you're watching my development, right? You can start watching our development as a group. Family, when I'm telling you that I put together the bread from that, uh, from that ambrosia, this is like a mock pizza. It's basically um, slices of sourdough, right, with uh, cheese, um, uh, 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 tomato sauce, um, um, mushrooms, right? You know, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat on one of these a little bit. I'm gonna snack on a little one of these while I'm eating my uh, miso soup this morning, right? Because uh, I, you know, just nibble a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I also got the, the sweet bread. You know what I'm saying? It, mission accomplished. I sampled all that last night. I put that up on YouTube. Um, and right now I don't have no ambrosia, so we're gonna have to do another healthy drink. So I'm gonna make a healthy drink for you. All right, so now come on, get your water with me. I drank a lot of this water last night because I was, you know, oh man. Y'all know how it goes down. Y'all know how it goes down. See, I I prove, I proved that you don't have to die after uh, three days with no water. I did three days with no water, family. Three days. Well, yeah, I ain't gonna say it wasn't nothing. Shit, that was hard. But you know one thing it taught me? Either you could lay there and suffer or you get up and you could create. Yep, it's for a minute. It's for a minute. Um, yeah, that is the bread. That is for a minute. It's for a minute. Right? So it won't even rot like the other breads. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it will rot. It's thicker. Um, it's a sourdough because of the fermentation process. Right? And the fermentation process was started by the yeast created by that ambrosia. And I feed it that ambrosia. So where, where the recipe calls for water, in most cases, I'm feeding ambrosia. Right? So now what you're getting is you're getting a nutrient-dense piece of bread, right, that, you know, you still got to take it easy with because basically it's still carbohydrates, but it's been fermented. Right, which means that it's a little bit more healthy for you, but too much of one thing in any case is not good for you. Drink up your water, family. Mr. Hastar, have you been looking up that microbiome stuff for me? I would love, I would love to hear your perception of it because I honestly believe that is going to be the branch of medicine that's going to make it possible for us to basically heal or to um, knock out a majority of these gut related diseases. What's up brother Maurice King, long time no see brother, How, how's everything going for you, right? So now, the goal of G&J, that ambrosia, once again, I need to remind y'all that's tuning in because that's the sponsor here, is that I will, I'm going to eliminate all gut-related diseases with everybody in my tribe, friends and family in my tribe, period, right? There's no reason why we have to suffer from um, diabetes. There's no reason why we have to suffer from a lot of these blood-borne diseases. There's no reason why we got to suffer with a lot of these autoimmune diseases. You know what I'm saying? When we have the means right here, right now, to take care of all of that. Right? And we had the expertise. Right? We had the expertise. Right? And I ain't talking about me. It's people around us who have been practicing certain things that can help. Family, all we got to do is get culturally appropriate and a lot of this shit will fall off of us. So go and drink your waters before we do our toast. All right, so people are asking, Brother Hatim, Brother Hatim, 
what what you do when you don't have a healthy drink. Create one. I ain't got none of that ambrosia. So what y'all see right here is I have a bowl full of vest uh um, fruits. Right? Y'all know I've been denying myself. Right? And I, I just happened to be out. I just started a whole nother batch of that ambrosia. I'm about to start a, a batch of that Death Eater Ambrosia. And also, I'm going to be adding um, a new Ambrosia to the menu, which is basically going to be, um, I know y'all like, that's a lot of fruit, but I'll tell you, I'm about to put it in, right? But um, a root beer. And in the root beer, I'm thinking about going and just investing and go on and put some um, ginseng in there. We'll have, um, I'm thinking about ginseng, sarsaparilla, uh, ginger, uh, dandelion, and burdock root. Root, real root beer. I'm gonna see about making it brown. I don't know if I guarantee it's gonna be brown or not. This right here is some honey tea, green honey tea. This was left over from the process of me making that ambrosia. This right, this cup is one of those cups. Now take this out, cause y'all see me. I like using the steamer. I use the steamer a lot, and I also um, I, I frequent the local. Uh, I love the thrift stores, right? Cause people be getting these appliances for Christmas and be like, "Hell, I don't want that. I don't want it." And they take it and get rid of it. And guess who get it? Brother Hot Tim, right? Brother Hot Tim. Mm -mm. Let me tell you, family. Listen. This right here, this two right here is incredible. This is a single cup blender. I got it for $6. I want to let y'all see it work. If I ain't burnt it out already. So, so, yeah, no supplements, just green tea, a little bit of honey, and a fruit. That'll do me until I get some ambrosia. See that? Nice and beautiful. All right? Almost to breakfast, but shit, I'm about to give me some miso soup too. All right, so first call on the creator by whatever name you choose to call that creator. We call that great energy into our lives. We call that energy into around us. We call that energy into all those people that's going to be present in us. We ask that we be able to recognize that creative force, that creative power in each individual that we run into so that we can empower our lives, right? So we can move in power. Now, we call on our personal ancestors. We call on those that came before us and those who helped shape and form us. We, we call on those who made sacrifices for us to be here. We call on those that we don't even know that's in our family line, right? Because there's over a million people who had to be in the exact right place at the exact right time in order for us to be born. If you just calculate the amount of people it took to make you in just 20 generations, 20 generations is less than 400 years. That's less than the time that we've been here maybe just a little bit yes a little bit less than the time that we've been here but in the time that we have been here right there had to be over a million encounters in order to make you you are the highest step in evolution in your family and the question that i'm asking is if you are the highest step in evolution in your family what in the hell are you doing with your time right so 
we we toast our ancestors. We remember our personal ancestors, the one we know and the ones that we don't know. So I'm gonna call my family line. If you got people in your family line you want me to call out, by all means post them up. I call on Miles Brown, Mr. Miss Ann, Robert and Texana Davis, Herman Brown Sr., Rosie Lee Tilly, Georgia and William Walton, Chris and Fanny Ganser, um, Aunt Lena, um, Uncle Chris, Geneva Brown, Cleveland Brown, Margaret Ellis, Wash Ellis, Cecil Ellis, Wash Ellis Jr., my Uncle Herman Brown II, um, my Aunt Alvira Brown, Gina Gang. Barbara Twiggs, um, um, Jamon Jones, Jeremiah Tappan, um, John Fillard, uh, Montague Pittman L., uh, Dr. Marianne Williams, Elder Millie, Elder Harrison, Elder Farmer, Elder Donaldson, um, Tony Clark, um, Elder Mark Walsh, uh, let me tell you a story, see, because remember your ancestors is very important. Um, uh, Mark Walsh was um, um, a Native American leader here in Columbus. Um, one of my elders, one of my older brothers by the name of Albino Garcia taught me how to approach a sweat leader. So Nomo, once again, those, those ancestral connections. Nomo received a reward from the Native American Center in Columbus and demanded my presence. He wanted me to meet him there. He wanted me to, to be there when he got the reward. So since I was going to the Native American Center, I remember the stuff that my El, my older brother, Albino, taught me. Nomo introduced me to Mark, because Mark presented Mark presented the award, but um, I can't remember the, the guy's name actually gave Nomo the award. Um, for Trachis, Bob for Trachis, awarded Nomo the, uh, the, the whatever award he got. I got to meet Mark, and I told Mark, I said, Mark, um, my community needs to sweat. Mark said, boom, Mark wrote down directions. I passed him the tobacco, boom, it was on and popping. Always welcomed me to his house, even up to this point now, even though he passed away and he's an ancestor now, the community still, is still popping. So the piece that I'm saying is by us using our ancestral connections, right? Because we're connected to the Native Americans. We're connected to um, to African people. We're connected to, we are specific people here in America, which we have not embraced yet, right? Because when it comes to American, right? There is no more American person on this continent than your black ass. And this is what I mean. You were stripped away from wherever you 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 were. Your people were stripped away. Memory total totally crushed. Look, look at my body. Look at my body. Just like my body. Totally crushed. Skinny. Starved out. Out of your mind. Right? Snapping because you hungry. You don't even know where you're from no more. You don't even know what language you speak no more. Right? If you was to go back, you might not even be accepted. So really, when it comes down to it, America is the genesis of the African American. This is your genesis, right? We could trace our history back, but when it comes down to it, there is no other people who is more American than you. And there's nobody else here who should be getting more, more benefits from this country, right? Not the land, because the Native Americans are the actual owners of the land, so they should be receiving something. But there's nobody that should be receiving more benefits from this government, from this government that was established on the back of you and your birth and your creation. There's nobody that should be receiving any more than you. All right, fam. All right. So we toast our ancestors and we remember them and we say, I say, from there, we move to this present moment. We are on a moja. Great emoji to you. Um, we're toasting unity. Um, the mahatic principle is truth. Um, the color is violet. Um, the, the hermetic law is mentalism. The male name is Quojo. The female name is Ottawa. All right? So we toast that. From there, we move to 
our children, our children's children on to infinity. We lift the glass up to them because we toast them because what we toast them in advance so that we will be hopefully worthy to be toasted in the future. So we toast them and we say, I shave. From there, we move to you. I toast you. You and any of your struggles. Any of y'all that have struggles, y'all need to post them up so we could toast them, right? We could toast them. We can ask the ancestors to move out because by us making the sacrifice and by us taking care of our bodies because the ultimate, the ultimate earth that we're pouring on is us, right? That's why I'm saying have a healthy drink. Start off with the water, right? Get you some good brand water. Get you some real water. Let's start taking care of ourselves, right? Because we need to fertilize ourselves so that we can grow. We can't salute our ancestors if we're unhealthy, right? So we toast and we say, Ashe, 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 I wish you peace, power, joy, and 100 years. Now, what I like about this, other better than juicing, is that you get the fiber of the fruit, which is very important because with fructose, from what I'm understanding, it's hard for your body to get rid of it. So what it does, it just turns it into fat, right? But when you take the whole fruit, it allows your body to know what to do with it. With the fructose it can't use, you know what I'm saying, it's able to flush it out with the fiber. Shouts out to Brother Kwame and thanks for sharing. Hmm. So today on the YouTube, we're just going to be talking about me breaking the fast last night. So, um, this is where I'm giving up the information. So y'all got any requests before I roll out? This is delicious. Uh, Kwame, what I did was I blended some banana, pineapple, blueberry, mango, and some green tea with honey. Because I ain't got no ambrosia today. So we had to make a healthy drink. So, while I was on my last three days, I brewed, I'm brewing eight gallons of that ambrosia. I'm putting together another, maybe two gallons of the death eater ambrosia. I created about five loaves of bread. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, it, it taught me, hunger and thirst taught me. You can sit around and you could just, you could wait for the pain to end, or you could use that pain to start creating. Many of us just waiting around for the pain to end. Shit ain't gonna end, right? And the end that it got planned for you is not good. So you don't wanna be laying around for that shit. Get up and create. Mm, mm, mm. Enjoy breakfast. Got a lot of fruit here. They make me a drink too. Keep me in mind for the ginseng with black seed. Oh, oh, okay. Um, I'm gonna put together half a gallon of that. All right. Just uh, stay on me. Stay on me, cause you know I'm I'm focusing on that um, root beer. 
So I don't know how that's gonna turn out, but that's your order. So you take responsibility for it. Once I bottle it, I'm calling you and it'll be ready. You want the half gallon or gallon? Damn, I might need to make another one at all. Wow. Ooh. Man. Mr. Kwame, gallon or half gallon? The whole gallon, all right? Got you. Mm. Uh, all right, so family, I'm out. All right, so let me try to download this and uh, fix my YouTube video for tomorrow, I mean for the day, and get to the next part of my 21 day challenge. Peace.